Hi there, welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to show you eight simple iPhone tips that most people may not know about. These hidden features can help you save time, stay organized, and make your iPhone even easier to use. Let's go through them one by one, and don't worry, I'll guide you every step of the way. Let's get started. Did you know you can tap the back of your iPhone to make something happen? It's called back tap, and it can turn on the flashlight, take a screenshot, or even open an app. Here's how to turn it on. You're going to open up the settings app. We're going to select accessibility. We're going to scroll down and choose touch. Scroll to the very bottom of the page and you'll see an option called Back Tap. Now you have inside of Back Tap the options to use a double tap on the back of your phone or a triple tap. So if I tap on the double tap, you'll see that there are many options available to you. Uh, you can choose any of them. You'll see accessibility options as well as gestures. And if you have any shortcuts set up, you can choose a shortcut. For right now, one of my favorite options is the magnifier. So if I need to magnify something, I'll choose that for the double tap. And you'll see that when I double tap on the back of the iPhone, it brings me right into the magnifier app. Let me come back into the settings option. I'm going to tap on back tap in the upper left corner. I can also choose a triple tap. So for that, I'm going to come down to a shortcut that I have set up that will add a new event to my calendar. I'll tap on that. And now if I triple tap, you'll see that it takes me right into the calendar app where I can set up a new event. Are you typing your email or address over and over again? There's a shortcut for that. You can create a little code like ADR that turns into your full address automatically. To do this, we're going to go to settings. We're going to tap on general. We're going to scroll and select keyboard. And now we're going to choose text replacement. Here, you can add any text replacement that you want. So if I want the address this particular address to come up when I type ADR. All I'm going to, and to add a replacement, you just hit the plus sign, put in the phrase, put in the shortcut. That's how you add a text replacement. I'm going to show you how to bring this up. I'm just going to swipe out and I'm going to come into the messages app and I'm going to select a new message. And down in the text field, if I type in ADR and I hit return, you'll see that it automatically adds that address into the text field. So text replacement can save you a lot of time. Check it out and add some. Your iPhone is smart. It can read the text inside your pictures. If you've taken a photo of a note, a sign, or even a recipe, just open the Photos app and search for a word that's inside that image. So I'm going to tap on the search icon in the upper right corner. I'm going to type in tournament. And you'll see that it already has located two photos. I'm going to go ahead and select one of those photos. And it brings up, you'll see that the uh, what we typed in in the search bar, it highlights it. So your iPhone will find the text for you. This is called live text and it works automatically. Give it a try. This next tip's a fun one. You can drag and drop pictures or texts from one app to another. For example, if you're in Safari and you want to drag a photo from Safari and let's say you want to put that photo in the Notes app to save it. All I need to do is push and hold on the photo, and you'll see that I can drag it around on the page with my finger. 
With my other hand, I'm going to swipe out of the safari and, safari and continue holding that note. And now I'm going to locate the notes app. So I'm going to tap on the, whoops, sorry, the app library search bar in the upper uh, top part of the screen. And I'll tap on N on the right. I hit M by mistake, so I'll just swipe down until I see notes, tap on notes, tap on new note in the bottom right corner, and now you'll see a plus sign appear next to a, my photo. I can drop it right into the notes app. This is a great way for saving ideas or organizing information quickly. Are you tired of spam calls? Here's an easy fix. Open up the Settings app, scroll to the very bottom where it says Apps, tap on Apps, tap on the P in the uh, right-hand side, Locate Phone, scroll down until you see Silence Unknown Callers, toggle that switch on and now only people in your contacts will ring your phone. You won't miss any calls. Other calls will go straight to voicemail. So no more annoying interruptions. Use search to save time. You don't have to look through your apps one by one to locate them. You can swipe down from the middle of your screen, just pull down on it, and you'll open up what's known as Spotlight Search. Type in what you need. So maybe I want to get to the Wi-Fi settings. If I just type in Wi-Fi, you'll see Wi-Fi settings pops up. I can tap on it, and it'll immediately take me in to the Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to swipe out, and this time I'm going to tap on the X to just get rid of that search. If I wanted to do some simple math, I could do that. I could just type in whatever it is that I wanted. And it automatically gives you the answer. So this is a great way to save time and locate your things quickly. Want to set a timer fast? Swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center, locate the timer button, which is right here, push and hold on it, and now you can slide up and down to select the time you want, and when you're ready, tap on start. Need someone to find you? You can share your exact location right from the Messages app. So I'm going to open the Messages app, I have my sister already uh, located in the messages. If I tap on her name at the top of my message, you'll see that I have an option here to share my location. I'll go ahead and tap on that. And now I can choose to share it for one hour, one day, or indefinitely, meaning that uh, until I turn it off, once I tap on that, you'll see that it's added into the Messages app. All I have to do is tap on Send, and she'll know exactly where I'm located. It's helpful when meeting someone or letting your family know that you're safe. And that's it. Eight hidden iPhone features that can really make a difference, especially if you're looking for ways to make things simpler, faster, and easier. Give a few of these a try and see what works best for you. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more helpful tips like these. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.